Hello, uh, welcome to the second video. I just wanted to mention one thing. One of the videos I was going to include in this was a bit too blurry, so I ended up having to remove it. And in that, I mentioned uh, that I accidentally did the um, turret board design that I sent to Doug Hoffman at hoffmanamps.com incorrectly and was missing a couple of turret posts. So when I point to that area, that's what I was mentioning. Uh, also, in general, uh, the uh, there were several things that I'm putting some notes in it that were accidentally messed up, uh, but I'll just leave them here. At the end, I should hopefully have clarified all those, but at any point, if you have any questions, please put them in the uh, comments below. Thanks. All right, so here we have some of those components I mentioned earlier. Uh, as I stated, the 100 microfarad uh, capacitors that I was able to salvage from this are 100 microfarad, 450 volts, and I was able to get a few you know, inputs. There's quite a few input jacks, the uh, RCA jacks as well for the uh, reverb. And um, then I was able to get the 1K 5 watt uh, stuff for the uh, power tube uh, grid outputs, um, or to the B plus, B plus actually. And then there's a couple of different rectifiers here. I think I'm going to probably use this one. I think this one's a higher quality one. I will double check to ensure it. This is a secondary one they had as well. Uh, and then I couldn't use a lot more of their caps because they tended to be much lower quality. Now, I don't know a lot of these. I don't know Jamicon, but I'm assuming since they were the main power filtering, they're probably going to be okay. But that some of the other ones for the audio filtering were not so great. But I was able to still get also some things like there's some of these nice pots that, that are there, Alpha 10K and Alpha 50K and whatnot. So I'll be able to use those as well. Uh, but I'm going to also cover down in a little bit some of the other things that uh, I, I had to buy. All right, so next we have our box of other goodies. Let's go ahead and set this aside. And here is the first part. It's a cool little board, like I said, that uh, Doug Hoffman will build for you. Uh, like I said, I, I mentioned I missed the two that were supposed to go down here for my uh, choke, but that's all right for my A and B points where power comes in and whatnot. But uh, all in all, as you saw the picture I did, I'll be having the preamp section through roughly here. Then we have the reverb section, and then these are the, I'll likely cut this part off. Uh, but it's possible I can fit this all as is in the build, we'll see as we get closer. But this is for the power amp input coming in from the other side through some resistors into the power tubes, and then the bias circuit. Uh, additionally, I have all the different capacitors. Uh, as, as mentioned, I had to get a couple of the larger ones. The... Uh, the 100 microfarad ones. Uh, I got a couple of fuses. I have the fuse attachments, but I didn't have the exact fuse uh, measurements. They were different in the, in the other one. But as you can see, I've got a, this is 100 microfarad, 350 volts. So that one would technically be a little bit lower voltage, but it's still gonna be clear over the amount we need, because two of these together, 700, the other two were 900, so I'm you know, assuming that 700 would be the lowest, but it's still a clear above what I need. Additionally, I've got my 16 microfarad, uh, and this is a, I think it's a JJ brand. No, that's F&T brand. Uh, but these ones here were Illinois Semiconductor, which are very good quality as well. And then this guy is additionally Illinois Semiconductor, if I believe, but it's a 33 microfarad, 450 volt. There's two of those. I did not have a 32. And then I got some nice, uh, for some of the other board positions, I have a nice couple, of the, the only ones that fit the capacitance that was required by the circuit, by Sprague. If I had the money, I would have sprung for all Sprague, but I'm just trying to get this done. The rest of these are also, I believe, uh, pretty good quality stuff that I put in some of my other builds. And then there's standard uh, ones here that run it up to about 600 volts, I think, that are just for the smaller connection type stuff. Here is my um, capacitor, or I'm sorry, this is the variable resistor or potentiometer that will be used for the bias circuit. So that's all of those. So resistors we've got right here. We won't go into everything there, but you, as you can see, uh, I've got most of these carbon comp style old school looking ones that were used in a lot of the old amps. Uh, but there's a decent amount of the connections I need to their higher watt resistors, you know, so I think these, uh, I believe these slightly smaller ones are my two watt, one ohm resistors for measuring my output to get my grid uh, plate, I mean my plate dissipation. Then I have some other ones that are for the, the B plus rail as well as uh, other areas where they just need the slightly higher resistance or higher wattage resistors and the rest of them would be that kind. Um, additionally, the one part I forgot to order and I'll be ordering soon is the actual reverb pan. 
and the reverb transformer. So I'll be adding those soon, but those will go into the build. So, uh, And then the one final thing in my bag of tricks was that the existing preamp circuit board was all uh, a circuit board style tube socket, so I bought some new tube sockets that I'll be able to put into the chassis as well, and we'll see that. So I'll go, kind of go through that process as well. So there you go. There you have it. Next steps will be the actual prep phases. Uh, I think the first thing that we'll likely show you is me populating this board with components, soldering it. We have to first connect some bus wire between points that are supposed to connect together, and then we will put the components on, solder them in, I will also, before I do any of the soldering and work, determine where my screw holes are going to go so I can drill those so that they are prepped ahead of time before I attach them into the chassis. So we'll go through some of those steps together. Alright, so first view here is some of the old circuit boards that came out of the box. This was the power board. As you can see, that's where the caps were, the big ones. Some of the smaller ones I pulled off as well. And then I've got... This was the preamp section. I haven't gotten to desoldering that yet, but a lot of these caps I've mentioned are the same brand, the Capzon or uh, Metacon, which I don't think are going to be that great, so I've gotten a little bit better audio range capacitors. And then all the little, <clears throat> if you can see these, these, all these resistors are really small, so I'm having to deal with that. So, And then this was the original board that had gone bad, which is a... Uh, they call it a reverb board because over on this side they've got some uh, chips that do the reverb work. Um, but... Uh, Oh, Mallory. Hush. Uh, and then here was the original caps that are some power filtering caps, like 2200 microfarad, that had gone bad. Um, and I was trying to replace those and just ended up kind of scorching the board a lot and ruining that. So, uh, at any rate, uh, I've pulled most everything off of that. I'm uh, The next few phases really here are going to be me getting inside here. I'm going to be pulling off all the front parts here. I'll be leaving the input stage and the output stage alone pretty much, because that's on a little small board, but it's pretty simple, straightforward stuff. Uh, but otherwise, I've got some, you won't be able to see here, I'll probably pick up and show the camera, but on the inside there's the power tubes already here. And then I've got some slots already for the uh, preamp tubes, but I'll be drilling some holes for screw those down, so that'll go there. Anyway, uh, we'll bring that up in a minute. Alright, now she, you should be able to see, I've got it a little more cleaned up, removed all the front panel accessories. Um, I've left the LED points there, I'll possibly remove those. I'm going to have to make a custom face plate to cover the sound because I'm not going to have this many needed pots. There's going to be uh, volume and reverb, treble bass and middle, something along those lines, but I'll probably space them out a little bit across the front and kind of get some kind of a plate to cover the rest of what I don't need. Uh, and I, of course, don't want it to say Vox and AC100 CPH. It'll be whatever I decide to call this guy, but uh, I also did realize I'm going to need to cut this because once I get this in here, it's a little tight. Um, I'll get a camera view kind of on top and then with this on, on it. So I sawed that off and uh, so that is now ready to go somewhere back in here. I'll figure that out. I've got four nice risers here that I can set this, the power section up somewhere uh, more in that area. So possibly, you know, about here. I don't know. But I will get that figured out eventually as well. So that's the next step. All right, here's a bit of a top-down view so that you can see about where I'm going to place things. Uh, right here you can see there's the, the preamp tube holes I will be kind of drilling those so that I can lock them in from the you know from the from the bottom up That's similar to what's been done back here for the power amp stage this is the output stage from the output transformer as I mentioned that'll be saying the same but my preamp wiring will go here as well as the reverb wiring uh, they'll connect over here to these tube uh, and then up here I'll have the power amp stage so once I finish you know kind of down in this area I'll shoot back over into here to the power tubes and whatnot so there's that view all right, as you can see here, I've drilled holes and lined them up and put them in on the posts that were there. I didn't do the best job on squaring the top part that will be the bias board, but it's there. And uh, so the next step will be to remove those and start hooking things up. <laughs> 